President Trump today welcomed the leader of Malaysia to the White House despite the cloud of scandal hovering over Prime Minister Najib Razak's head. This meeting is the subject of our latest installment of Conflict of Interest Watch. The president rolling out the red carpet today for Prime Minister Najib Razak. Mr. Prime Minister, it's a great honor to have you in the United States and in the White House. This despite Najib's alleged role in what the United States Justice Department calls an international conspiracy to launder funds misappropriated from a Malaysian fund. Money that the Justice Department says should have been used to help the people of Malaysia, but instead was used by a small number of individuals to fuel their, quote, astonishing greed. It has been widely reported that Prime Minister Najib is referred to as Malaysian Official One in the investigation into how 4.5 billion dollars were misappropriated by the Prime Minister and other officials. As part of its investigation into the funds being laundered, the Justice Department is currently seeking $1.7 billion in assets, including an interest in the movie Dumb and Dumber 2, a condo in New York City, diamond jewelry, a painting by Picasso, and a $260 million mega yacht called the Equanimity. The Prime Minister has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. President, for your invitation. For me and members of my delegation, uh, to meet with you at the White House. President Trump welcoming the Prime Minister with open arms today, offering him an adrenaline shot of credibility back in his home country, stunning reformers and anti-corruption advocates. We want to help you um, in terms of strengthening the U.S. economy. The Prime Minister's attempts to strengthen U.S. economy apparently began with the coffers of the Trump International Hotel in downtown Washington, D.C., where the Prime Minister and his team are staying. Many good government groups say that the president taking profits still from foreign governments is a clear violation of the U.S. Constitution's emoluments clause, which bans such gifts for a president from foreign leaders. Now, President Trump had said he would donate profits from foreign leaders to the U.S. Treasury, but in the spring, the Trump Organization told Congress it would not engage in any thorough or comprehensive attempt to follow through on the pledge, calling it impractical and saying it, quote, would impede upon personal privacy and diminish the guest experience of our brand. Just minutes ago, the White House was asked about the appropriateness of the prime minister staying at the president's for-profit hotel in the midst of a U.S. Justice Department investigation. We certainly don't uh, book their hotel accommodation, so I couldn't speak to the personal decision they made about where to stay here in D.C. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders also said she did not think the hotel stay was in any way an attempt to curry favor with the president.